हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट 18 एम ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट अप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स फॉर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर डिप्लोमा स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट अ स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन when one surface tries to move over the others the force of resistance developed at the contact surfaces is known as a resultant b equilibrium c frictional force and d none of the above when one surface tries to move over the other the resistance developed is a force of friction hence the correct answer is c frictional force question number 2 the frictional force always dash 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 the motion and it is dash 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 a helps self adjusting b helps reactive c opposes reactive and d opposes self adjusting now here the frictional force always opposes the motion and it is self adjusting what do you mean by self adjusting whenever the external force applied is less than the limiting frictional force the frictional force will be that less force okay so it adjusts and it increases up to limiting frictional force thereafter it will not be increasing which causes the motion hence it is the most important property of friction that is frictional force is self adjusting and it always opposes the motion hence the correct answer of this question is d opposes and self adjusting question number 3 when one surface tries to move over the other the friction developed between the two contact surfaces still the motion starts is known as a dynamic friction b static friction c fluid friction and d none of the above now if you um, go for a particular experiment keeping a particular block on the rough surface and if you apply a force which is gradually increasing you will find that initially as the force increases there is no motion because frictional force is self adjusting it will adjust up to a certain limit okay up to which the motion will not ha be happening it will not be in motion and this particular frictional force develop is self adjusting up to the point till the motion takes place is always a static friction hence the correct answer of this particular question is b static friction question number 4 when one surface tries to move over the other the friction develop between the two contact surfaces once the motion starts is known as a dynamic friction b static friction c fluid friction and d none of the above now again take the experiment which i have told you in the last question now till the motion start the frictional force is a static friction but a point comes when the limiting frictional fi force has attained and the body is in limiting equilibrium so thereafter frictional force will not increase and if you increase that uh, external applied force then the body will be in motion and once it is in motion the frictional force developed is known as dynamic friction hence the correct answer of this question is a dynamic question number 5 the dynamic friction is always dash 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 static friction a equal to less b less than c greater than d none of the above once the motion start friction reduces hence dynamic friction is always less than static friction hence the correct answer is b less than question number 6 when one surface is just on the point of sliding over the other the maximum frictional resistance developed at the contact surfaces is known as a friction b resultant c normal reaction and d limiting frictional force now just now i have told you the experiment the maximum force which can be developed in between two surfaces in contact when one surface tries to move over the other that particular 
is uh, in limiting equilibrium condition and the force is known as limiting frictional force and hence the correct answer is D limiting frictional force. Question number 7 the limiting frictional force is directly proportional to a coefficient of friction b resultant reaction c normal reaction and d area of contact limiting frictional force is always proportional to the normal reaction hence the correct answer is c normal reaction question number eight for two given surfaces in contact the ratio of limiting frictional force to the normal reaction is known as a coefficient of friction b total reaction c angle of friction and d none of the above now the ratio of limiting frictional force to the normal reaction is known as coefficient of friction hence the correct answer is a coefficient of friction question number now the vector sum of limiting frictional force and the normal reaction is known as a resultant friction b resultant reaction or total reaction c resultant and d none of the above now limiting frictional force and normal reaction they are perpendicular to each other if you find out the resultant of them it is the vector sum that is under root of limiting frictional force square and normal reaction square and that is known as resultant reaction or it is also known as total reaction Hence, the correct answer is b resultant reaction or total reaction question number 10 the angle made by the resultant reaction with the normal reaction is known as a angle of friction b angle of repose c angle of inclination d none of the above now the angle made by resultant reaction with the normal reaction is known as angle of friction hence the correct answer is a angle of friction question number 11 the block weighing on the block weighing 30 newton is placed on a rough horizontal plane the horizontal force of 10 newton is applied on it if the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0.4 actual frictional force developed is a 10 newton b 30 newton c 12 newton and d none of the above now here in this case we will first calculate the limiting frictional force which is uh, mu into r and mu is 4 here and r will be equal to w that is 30 so 0.4 into 30 will be 12 newton that is the limiting frictional force actual force applied is 10 newton which is less than that so you know that when the applied force is less than limiting frictional force there will not be any motion and as the frictional force is self adjusting at this particular moment the frictional force actually developed will be 10 newton hence the correct answer is a 10 newton question number 12 the block weighing 30 newton is placed on a rough horizontal plane a horizontal force of 10 newton is applied on it if the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0.4 the limiting frictional force will be now it is the last example itself now here only two vertical forces are acting on the block one is load and second is normal reaction uh, self uh, weight weight is 30 newton so normal reaction is also 30 newton and mu is 0.4 limiting frictional force is mu into r that is 0.4 into 30 that is 12 newton hence the correct answer is b 12 newton question number 13 the block weighing 30 newton is placed on a rough horizontal plane a horizontal force of 10 newton is applied on it if the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0.4 state whether the block will move or not a cannot predict b yes it will move c no it won't move and d none of the above now this is again the same example like two previous questions here limiting frictional force is 12 newton actual force applied is 10 newton which is less than uh, limiting frictional force hence there will not be any motion the block will not move hence the correct answer is c no it won't move question number 14 the block weighing 30 newton is placed on a rough horizontal plane 
the horizontal force of 12 newton applied on it just moves it the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane will be a 0.4 b 0.36 c 0.3 and d none of the above now this is again the same example coefficient of friction is not given force applied is 12 newton weight is 30 so normal reaction is again 30 and mu is equal f uh, this f is equal to mu into r and so mu is equal to f upon r that is 12 upon 30 which will come out to be 0.4 hence the correct answer of this question is a 0.4 question number 15 the block weighing 30 newton is placed on rough horizontal plane the horizontal force of 12 newton is applied on it just moves it the angle of friction will be a 23.58 degrees b 21.8 degrees c 66.42 degrees and d none of the above once you know the value of mu we know the relation between angle of friction and mu mu is equal to tan phi hence phi is equal to tan inverse mu mu is 0.4 so tan inverse 0.4 will be 21.8 degrees hence the correct answer of this question is b 21.80 degrees question number 16 the block weighing 30 newton is placed on a rough horizontal plane a horizontal force of 12 newton applied on it just moves it the resultant reaction will be a 42 newton b 18 newton c 32.31 newton and d none of the above now we know that the force applied is nothing but mu r that is 12 newton normal reaction is 30 newton they are perpendicular their their vector sum is resultant reaction that means resultant reaction will be equal to under root of 12 square plus 30 square which comes out to be 32.31 newton hence the correct answer is c 32.31 newton question number 17 the angle made by the rough inclined plane with the horizontal such that the block placed on it is about to slide down the plane without applying any external force is known as a angle of friction b angle of repose c angle of inclination and d none of the above now whenever the block placed on it starts sliding down without applying any external force that particular angle made by the inclined plane with the horizontal is known as angle of repose hence the correct answer of this is b angle of repose question number 18 for a body in limiting equilibrium state placed on a rough plane inclined with the horizontal the angle of repose is dash 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 the angle of friction a equal to b less than c greater than and d none of the above now when the body is limiting equilibrium state that is when it is just on the point of motion even if it is placed on a rough inclined plane then whatever will be the angle of repose and the value of angle of friction they will be same hence the correct answer will be a equal to thank you